Hello my lovelies. Today's video is a little bit different, but it's still a simple recipe for a simple life. I'd like to talk to you today about soap nuts. Okay? Um, it's a really good way to use an all-natural cleaner in your home for when you don't want to use vinegar and water, you need something a little bit stronger or you want something to suds up. Now, you can use this for cleansing in your home as dish soap, a spray for your counters, a laundry detergent, or you can actually make this into a body wash or shampoo for your hair. And it's really, really healthy, I hear, for a shampoo. I haven't tried it yet, but that's what today's video is all about. I am going to try it. So far, I've only used it as a laundry detergent. And so long as your clothes aren't really, really stained, it works very well. It's extremely economical and it'll last a long time. And this basically is what the bag looks like. So it's soap nuts, soap berries. They're an actual plant. And see this uh, Green Dot Awards, USDA Organic, Echo Certified. So doesn't get any more natural than this, okay? And I'll show you what it looks like. They actually are little plant berries. They're berries that grow on trees. And they're dehydrated, of course, they're hard. And what I'm doing here is I am going to boil them. And when they boil in here, see how it's already sudsing up? So it's going to make just a liquid soap. Now it will come with a in in a muslin bag, but there will also come a small muslin bag. And I can't seem to find mine. I think it's in my laundry room. But it's something my bag came about that size and this is just one I, I've got but it was about that size and all you do for laundry detergent if you wash in hot water is take some of these berries put them in the little muslin bag that comes with it and close it up be sure and tie it really good you don't want them to come out in your um, in your clothes. They won't hurt the clothes, but you want to be able to reuse it because one bag with about six berries will do about six to ten washes. You just take your, your bag out, set it aside, it'll dry out between loads, and you just throw it in and that's all you do, so long as you're washing in hot water, unless you've boiled them first. So. Once I've made the liquid soap, I can do one of two things. Let's see what I did with my container. I'm going to just put the liquid, once it's cooled off, in this old bottle. And I'm going to keep that in my laundry room. And literally a, a tablespoon will do a whole load. But then I will take the actual berries that have boiled down and then I'll put them in my muslin bag so I can use liquid or the bag once they've boiled. You can just take them straight out of this bag, put them in this bag, and use them in hot water but not cold. And most of my laundry is washed in cold. Okay, so I can take this liquid and I can use it in laundry, I can use it as dish soap, I can put it in the bathroom for a um, hand wash, a body wash, a shampoo. Um, I can use it to clean my bathroom with, my kitchen with, my sinks, my counters, even my toilet, whatever you want to do. It's just a good all-purpose soap. And look at how frothy that's getting. It really is liquid soap. It's kind of resemblance of a, a liquid Castile soap but it's much milder on your hair. It's supposed to be really healthy and makes your hair real soft. It's real gentle on your hair. Catch that before it boils over. Barely, barely caught that in time, didn't I? 
So what I'm going to do once this is all finished is I'm going to show you an alternative, which is um, just using a hand mixer and making it really, really rich and thick. So I'll come back and do that in just a moment. All right, it boiled as long as it, I felt it needed to, a good 10 minutes or so. And then I cooled it down all the way so that I could handle it. And I washed my dishes with it and I'm including a picture there so you could see how much it suds up in the water. Now, as soon as I started putting dishes in it, the suds disappeared, but I could still feel the soap in the water. And I was fine with that because I knew it was there and it cleaned my dishes really well. The difference between this and the commercial brands that I've been washing my dishes with, even though they say they're soft on hands, they're really not. And I generally run for the uh, lotion as soon as I'm done if I'm not wearing gloves, which I never wear gloves because they just feel weird. Anyway, <laughs> with this, um, I, I didn't feel the need to run for lotion. My hands were soft after I washed my dishes. So what I did is I put the majority of it here in this just for using with laundry. And like I said, just about a tablespoon laundry or dishes uh, cleaning around the house. And then I took a little bit of it and put it in here in this separate one because I added a little bit of lavender and rosemary essential oils. And um, that's the scents that I generally use when I make a shampoo or uh, even sometimes my body bars because uh, lavender and rosemary are really good for your hair. So I'm really anxious to try this out on my hair. Um, if it does as well as I think because it softened my hands, I think it's going to soften my hair too. So I think it's going to be fine. Now I didn't throw out those soap nuts because now that they've been boiled and activated, I can put them in the little linen bag and I can also use that to wash clothes with. And like I said, one small bag, which I'd say about five or six nuts, about that amount, um, in a little bag will do at least five loads of laundry. And you'll know when it's time to change them because they'll just kind of break down and just become mush inside that bag. And you'll feel it when you take them out of the washer. And then you know, you know, when it's not suds enough anymore, that's when it's time to change them. But it really has been economical. Um, I've had this bag for a really long time. And I'll try and find where I bought them from. Um, couldn't even begin to, to pronounce it. Naturally. There you go. Naturally. And I'll look for it. And if I, if I can find a link, I'll link it down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give you something a little bit different to look at. Um, I do have a couple different videos of natural products. Um, I think I did the tooth powder and then I did my oil cleansing method for my face. And, um, these are things I just really, really feel passionate about. I think that we need to be aware of the toxins that we put on our body just as much as the toxins we put in our body. So I'll try to, to do other various recipes like this for you as we go along. Have a good day, guys.